Welcome to this episode of So You Miss Lab, where we make everything up. Today's lab is the Lab Skills Lab Part 2. First, we're going to take a look at three different graduated cylinders that have set amounts of water in them. Observe the meniscus of the water in the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder at eye level. Record the volume in milliliters in your data tables to the accuracy of the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Observe the meniscus of the water in the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder at eye level. Record the volume in milliliters in your data tables to the accuracy of the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Observe the meniscus of the water in the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder at eye level. Record the volume in milliliters in your data tables to the accuracy of the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Next, we'll take a look at a burette. A burette is read a little bit differently than a graduated cylinder. Let me show you. Unlike a graduated cylinder, a burette measures the volume dispensed, not what it holds. Notice, at the top of the burette, it measures zero. And at the bottom, it measures 50 milliliters. The scale of a burette increases as you go down. It's like the numbers are reversed. Observe the meniscus of the water in the burette at eye level. Notice the meniscus is between seven and eight milliliters so the correct measurement is seven point something. Record the measurement to the accuracy of the burette. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Next, we're gonna grab a wooden block. We're gonna measure the length, width, and height of the wooden block. Record the length of the wooden block in centimeters. Record the measurement to the accuracy of the ruler. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Repeat for the width of the wooden block. And the height. Next, we're going to measure the mass of the wooden block on a zeroed centigram balance. After placing the wooden block on the pan, balance the scale by moving the sliders. Record the mass of the wooden block in grams. Don't forget to add the tens and the ones. Record the measurement to the accuracy of the scale. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Next, we're going to grab a plastic cylinder and measure its diameter and height. Record the inner diameter of the plastic cylinder in centimeters. Record the measurement to the accuracy of the ruler. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment for proper sig figs. Repeat for the height of the plastic cylinder. You see here we've filled a 100 milliliter graduate cylinder with water. Record the volume of the water in milliliters. Record the measurement to the accuracy of the graduate cylinder. That means estimate an extra digit beyond the smallest increment 
for proper sick fix. Next, we pour water from the graduated cylinder until it fills all of the plastic cylinder. Record the new volume of water in milliliters. You know what to do with that extra digit. The difference between the two volume measurements is the amount of water used, which is also the volume of the plastic cylinder in milliliters. Next, we tear our electronic scale, and we place a 50 milliliter beaker on the scale to determine its mass. Record the mass of the beaker in grams in your data table. We're going to be using a burette to dispense water into our beaker. So let's get our initial volume of water. Record the initial volume of the water in milliliters. Remember, the numbers are upside down and don't forget to estimate that extra digit. Our goal is to add about 15 milliliters of water to the beaker. Since we started with an initial volume of about 10 milliliters, our final volume will be close to about 25 milliliters. Notice how the stopcock is perpendicular to the burette. As we turn it, we make it parallel to the burette. This allows water to be dispensed from the burette into the beaker. Record the final volume of the water in milliliters. Make sure to estimate that extra digit. The difference between the two volume measurements is the actual volume of water in the beaker. Finally, we're going to zero our electronic balance and place the beaker with water on it. Record the mass of the beaker plus the water. The difference in the two mass measurements is the mass of the water in the beaker. All right, guys, looks like we've made everything up. Now it's time to clean up. Uh -huh.